Hello guys, Greyhound here, and welcome back to another Legendary Weapons Guide here for Borderlands 2, and in this video we're going to be covering the Infinity, which is a Legendary Vladov pistol draw from Dog Mercy out in Three Horns Valley, and this weapon is pretty unique, it has unlimited ammo, which is pretty nice, and it has a really weird like, spray pattern, which isn't pretty nice, and I'll talk about the, those two things later, and ways this weapon can be used later on in the video, as well as the prefixes and elements it can spawn with, but out here in Three Horns Valley, you're going to want to follow the mouse cursor to the first red circle, and there'll be a geyser that'll show you how to use to get up to the second red circle up here on this mountain with the big ass dinosaur looking skull. And this cuts off a decent amount of time uh, farming for this weapon, but it is, it takes a couple tries to get it right, like it takes some practice. It take, took me forever, the first couple times I tried to do it, because I'm bad at the game and I don't know how to do anything right, and I don't know why I make YouTube's videos on this game because I'm trash at it, but here you can just go over to this geyser right here it's pretty close to the fast travel and it will propel you up in the air whenever it shoots uh, water and air out of it and it, you can use it to get up here on this mountain it takes a couple tries as i said before because sometimes it looks like you're going to go up there and you don't sometimes it looks like you are in you, you aren't and you do um it's it's pretty tricky to do but once you get some practice in it's pretty easy but dog mercy's over here he's part of a quest you get from zed towards the beginning of the game where you have to kill him and then take his e tech gun and kill a bunch of bandits with it. You have to finish both those quests before he is a respawnable enemy, which is pretty annoying because on Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, that gun sucks and it takes forever to actually kill anything with it. So, that's that's pretty frustrating, but most of you guys have probably done this quest since it is very on, very early on in the game, and you just maybe didn't know he dropped this weapon. But some of you guys may know he dropped this weapon, and you just want to see this part the fun part of the video where I talk about how this weapon can be used. Starting off this weapon can spawn with any elemental prefix as well as the prefixes Patriots for extra melee damage, right? Just for extra accuracy, Diva for one trigger squeeze, two shots, Resolute for extra stability, Unending for extra magazine size, and that won't do anything on this weapon. Purging for extra damage and Vengeful for extra fire rate. This weapon can be used on zero with the skill one shot one kill for an increased 30% damage for every shot fired by the infinity as well as on gauge cooking up trouble for infinite health regen on gauge as long as the infinity pistol's out. However, this pistol does have a weird fire rate. It is the, or not fire rate, fire pattern. It is the, and it's an infinity sign, but it's pretty big, and I'm pretty sure velocity on the assassin can improve this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I didn't find anything that said it doesn't. This weapon does do, like, absolutely no damage unless you hit a crit, though, and you know, you should be aiming for crits anyways, uh, on higher difficulties. But, it is also good on the Gunzerker with a pistol build, for whenever you run out of ammo, you can switch over to two infinities when Gunzerking and have unlimited ammo regen, as well as not using any of your ammo that you are regening, and you can just use those for a while, even though they don't do very much damage. And, the Gunzerker can also proc money shots on the uh, Infinity with every shot, as long as you are Gunzerking, because, you know, uh, Salvador doesn't need to break the game any more than he already has. And this pistol is... It's pretty fun to use, I guess. It's not that great on OP8, but I mean, pretty much every gun isn't that great on OP8, except for, like, Captain Herald and, like, the Interfacer. So, I mean, it, there's better weapons in the game, but there's a lot worse. It's worth your time trying it out, I believe. And I do believe that it could have been better. I could have... They could have taken out that stupid fire pattern and it would have been pretty nice but you know gearbox likes their antics and you know sometimes their antics are good sometimes they're not but i hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoy the rest of this gameplay and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video which will be hopefully be very soon i'm out guys peace Yeah.